your money determines where you go. It's not like here that you pay two ninety nine and the bus take the whole Brampton. No. <laughs> if you are from here and you're going to a Brampton City Centre, it's a different thing. You give her a little money, she gets to Mayfield, the driver will tell her to get up, the money is gone. So if she's saying it, trust her. It's not me. You trust her. If you want to add more, more. She wants the red one, not the green ones. You want us to take the gifts and go back? <laughs> <laughs> The elder, elder ladies coming here to the, to the right. Let's see. When you go, you're not coming back. <laughs> so be careful what you say. And this is the last time. Please think about your mother's food. <laughs> the best cookie your mother has been done. How much your father loves you. Now you're going on your own separate way. Think about it again. I'm giving you two seconds to think about it. Think about it and think about it. I'm going to ask you for the last time. And if you say yes, it's done. If you say no, you're going back to us. <laughs> Chakra, the last time, I'm going to ask you this. Tyron and his family have been here. They are here this morning with this beautiful present. Well dressed in African outfit to impress us just because they know you are a beautiful African queen. You come from the land of gold. There's a lot of gold in Ghana. Your father's mansion has many made a lot of things. You don't have to swell a sweat and do anything. But if you look at all these glorious things over there, and you're going to go and tie a knot with this gentleman, 
to suffer for the rest of your life as a mother, would you like to do us to accept this? You got your father right. Thank you. Woo. I said, Dad, I'll ask you, this is what you really want? Yes. Okay. You go for it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. I'll ask uh, Brother Michael to bless it in the name of God so that be sanctified for them. Let's stand for a moment for reading the song of Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful occasion. We praise you and give you all glory because of who you are. How excellent is your name in all the earth. And Lord, today we celebrate this uh, marriage ceremony that you have instituted in heaven, Lord. It's a divine institution ordained by God. It is sacred. And so, Lord, we honor you with the sacredness. Hallelujah. Of Tyrone and Jackie's decision to be well. I pray in Jesus' name for your blessing upon this ring and the circle of love, never-ending love. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, it will be the symbol, hallelujah, that exemplify their marriage that wherever they go, they know they're committed to each other, to love each other, and I sanctify them in Jesus' name. I bless them in the name of Jesus, and to you be all glory and all honor. Amen. Amen. I have a song to sing. <laughs> If you know the tune or the words, you can sing with me. Hallelujah, Jackie Dorami. Hallelujah, Jackie Dorami. Hallelujah, Jackie Dorami. Hallelujah, Jackie Dorami. In English, that means, hallelujah, Jackie loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? What about you? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Madonna. Madonna. Let's give him a cup. This marriage has to be sponsored by two of your family members. We want to see those two people to show themselves up so that my, my elder and two of our family members will do the same thing. So in case we're looking for some Jacqueline, we don't find it or something happens, we can contact them and know who they are. happens if you have any problem just see him okay. 
my African name is Efia. So, I need to know. We are with the woman, we are the woman. We are Um, do have it. That's uh, Jackie's mother. She supports the marriage. She gives a blessing, same as Jackie's father, same as Tyrone's parent. They both give their blessing for the marriage. I'm going to ask the two of you to give them one minute summary of an advice in marriage. Anybody, any two members of your, of your family to give them an advice, an experience in marriage. These guys are very young. They have never tasted it. And marriage as it is, when it's beginning to fresh, it's very sweet, lovey-dovey. But there are so many obstacles in it that you have to jump, climb, step in mud and everything, and they don't know it. So people who have already been in marriage for a long time have a lot of experience. And I would like two of you to give them just one minute, because we don't have time. One minute, summarize everything in one minute. Please, thank you. My name is Michelle Cameron, and uh, I want to say marriage is honorable, and you have to um, support each other. You know, communication is important in marriage. Support each other. Um, always be there for each other. Um, like keep, keep somehow um, keep others out. Find a way to keep others out. Put, put God first, and trust each other. Keep others. You know, like, take your own advice. Like, only go to others when it's necessary. You know, because sometimes a third party in your marriage can create problems. So learn to trust God and trust each other. And only bring third party in um, if it's necessary. You have to be wise when you bring other people in. God bless you. Thank you for the opportunity. I want to really offer a full slate of advice. <laughs> and uh, the very fact that this exemplifies a, a, a wedding or a marriage that we've been waiting for for years. The return of Christ. The bride and the groom. You are now seated in a position where we plead with you to let your light shine. Let your light shine, that others may see the good works that you're performing and be ready to glorify God. I want to bless you in Jesus' name and give you all the advice. Well, if you do need it, extra advice, you call. I will be there for you. Okay? Thank you. Sometimes, you know, you say, you cross so many bridges. The bridges are all crossing up. The bridges are weak. The bridges are well built. So, and try to say, try to say, and then we try to say, people respect each other. So, they say, if you pass, you be sick and take one on. But, 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 Jackie, I think uh, you heard what your grandfather said, Terrence. Um, all that saying that is he supports their marriage hundred percent. If any man here, if any man here can tell me he really understands women hundred percent, I will make sure his name goes to good clinic of record. <laughs> women, we can't dispense without them. We there's nothing men can do without women. We need them in our life, regardless of what problems we get. They are our mothers. They are the first people to create the world. They brought men to the world. So, what he's saying is, whatever she does, don't you ever lay your hand on her. 
there are men right here watching you. If you do that, they will really come after you. There is nothing in this world that happens between two people that can be settled with the mouth. Violent, physical, doesn't solve any problem. Thank you. Uh, Jackie. Okay. <laughs> That your aunt said she supports Mary. She bless you and her that God should bless you and make your descendants as countless as the sand in the ocean. You want to dance a little bit, please. First time I've been to a, a wedding like this, and I am so touched by it. 
but it's not just the wedding. Uh, when we first met at, at Jackie's mom home, and I, I, I really admire just the protocol that's involved in, in a marriage, because it's the first time I'm exposed to it, and it that showed me again how much we as a people have lost and why we end up being almost brainwashed in many other things in our culture we just cannot adapt to stuff that are not even us it doesn't befit us it's called looking bar oh young looking bar is come out of the west to all the white border his steed was the best and save his good broadsword he weapons had none he rode all in arm and he rode all alone so faithful in love and so dauntless in war, there never was a knight like the young luck in war. His pain not for great, and his spot not for stone. He swam the Esky River, where for there was none. But here he alighted, and never be seen. The bride had consented, the goddess came late. For a laggard in love, and a dastard in war, was the weather for heaven, brave luck in war. So boldly he entered the Netherby Hall among bridesmen and kinsmen and brothers and all. Then spoke the bride's father, his hand on his sword, for the poor craven bridegroom said never a word. Oh, come in peace here, or come in war, or to dance at our bridal, young Lord Lockin' And long would your daughter, my suit you deny. Love swells like the salt but ebbs like its tide. And now I'm come with this lost love of mine to leave but one measure, drink one cup of wine. There are maidens in Africa, more lovely by far, that would gladly be bride to the young lucky bar. The bride kissed the goblet, the knight took it up. He quaffed off the wine and he threw down the cup. She looked down to blush and she looked up to sigh with a smile on her lips and a tear in her heart. He took her soft hand, here mother could bar. Now tread we a measure, said young Lockin' Bar. So stately his form, and so lovely her face. They never had a hall of such a value as they grace. But her mother did fret, and her father did fume, and the bridegroom stood dangling his bonnet and plume. And the bride maidens whispered, twere better by far, to have matched her for a cousin with young Lockin' Bar. One touch to her hand and one word in her head. When they reached the hall door and the charger stood near. So light to the crook, the fair lady he swung. So light to the saddle before her he sprung. She's won, we're gone, over bang, bush and scar. There are fleet steeds that follow, quoth young Lockin' Bar. There was mountain among graves of the Netherly clan, Forster, Fenwick, and Musgrave. They rode and they ran. There was racing and chasing on Canopy Lee, but the lost bride of Never Netherby, near did they see. So daring in love and dauntless in war. Have you heard gallant like a young locking bar? We just thought we'd read that for Tyrone and Jack years of night.
Well, hello, hello, hello. It's a very exciting time. Um, all these things you see here, they're from Jackie's mother. All that she says is for Jackie to be a very good daughter, very respectful, very neat, obedient, helpful in the house. Everything she tells Jackie, she does it. And for that reason, she can just sit down and see Jeff, Jackie to leave the house when she's married with nothing. She got so many beautiful things in the boxes here. And these things are for Jackie and her husband to enjoy for being a very obedient daughter for her. She's not going to get them back. She's not going to ask her on for any favor. She's just free out of her hands. Not only that, her auntie Nyako, she said she brought raised Jackie when she was a kid. She's been with her for so long. And if Jackie is getting married today, she has a very beautiful best spread. And this is, you know what I'm trying to say. For the day, the day, the very one day, Jackie has to dress the bed nicely. When Sharon comes from work, she's the bed just wow, I love this. It's all for my heart, and it's a gift free shot to Jackie. In our culture, we say, yeah, free one more. Yeah. yeah. Which means we give them thanks for what they've done. Thank you very much. All right, all right. Uh, DJ, can you give them a song? Congratulations.